American Classics Return made quite a splash with a super cheap range of road and gravel tyres. The Crumbanes are the grippiest of the five new tread patterns, all available with three different sizes, and I was lucky enough to get some ahead of release, so I've already had a chance to subject them to over 800 kilometers of seriously wet and gross winter conditions. So let's talk about one of the best deals on gravel tires going around. The Crumbanes cost an absolute bargain 35 US dollars, as do all of American Classics tubeless tires, and they are sold consumer direct through Amazon, and they are linked down below if you want to go through and buy a set. All of that means that the supply chain is very tightly optimized. You can't get these in bike shops. It's all about squeezing everything they can into getting the price down. So they are very cheap in America. In Australia, you can get them landed here with a Prime membership for about $60 each. Still very, very cheap. The going rate for sort of the new generation of gravel tires is around $80 to $120, depending on what you're gonna get. So these are very, very competitive in this market for a high quality tubeless tire. I'll start with the boring stuff because it's a total non-story. Setup was easy. I got them mounted with a standard floor pump and just my hands. Ongoing maintenance has been zero, punctures are zero, and the wear is negligible after over 800 kilometers. So things are looking pretty good. These things are showing every sign of being a very long lasting gravel tire. The only thing that's worn out is the little hatch marks on the rear knobs. And that's a pretty good result because I've ridden a ton of tarmac on these tires. I commute to work on them quite regularly. So there's plenty of smooth road in there to wear down the knob. For those interested in how they measure when mounted, these 650B by 48 millimeter size, they're around 49. So fairly true to size, but they are on a hookless and quite wide set of carbon rims. It is also worth pointing out that American Classic has a rip and catastrophic puncture replacement discount system. I don't know exactly how that works, but I don't think they're gonna have to do many of them because these things are lasting very, very well. So that's the boring stuff out of the way. Let's talk about having some fun with these. The Crumbanes came at the perfect time, right at the beginning of a very long and soggy winter. That meant I still had plenty of grip and confidence to hit some of my favorite muddy trails, and it's usually when I'm spending less time doing long days out on compacted gravel roads. So a high grip tire is basically perfect in those conditions. And overall, I was quite impressed with how these tires ride. The grip from this tread pattern is excellent. The tall nods and the large gaps between them make this one of the grippiest, if not the grippiest gravel oriented tire I've ridden. You really do have to start looking over onto the mountain bike side of the market to find things that are gonna be a higher grip than these, sort of your lighter and sort of faster rolling XC tires, for example. The other standard has been comfort. There is a nice amount of sort of squish and flex in the sidewall of this tire, and it does a nice job of just reducing the sort of constant bumps and vibrations that you get on gravel. That's particularly refreshing because I have found a lot of the newer sort of modern casings of gravel tires are sort of erring on the side of a stiff and beefed up sidewall. I wouldn't accuse them of being particularly fast tires when you're on sort of the more smoother terrain, whether it's tarmac or a well compacted gravel road. All that sort of squish and the plentiful tread pattern means that it doesn't feel particularly zippy. If speed is really important to you, then I recommend you look elsewhere because grip is the priority of these tires. What the Crumbanes give you then is confidence that you're unlikely to sort of be under gripped for what riding you're going to do. I think you would have to be straying well onto your sort of fairly gnarly mountain biking trails to really feel like these tires aren't enough. So far then, the Crumbanes have a lot going for them, but there are a few drawbacks. And looking for drawbacks does require getting a little bit nitpicky, but hey, that's what I'm here for. The first is that I think I'd prefer something like a 50 mil tire to a 48. I know that sounds like a small thing, but yeah, I think that the way the market is literally expanding, wider is better. Uh, a 50 just seems to be where the market is headed. And a 48, yeah, I just like having as wider tires as I can. So that's the first thing I'd like to see changed, but it's not going to. So, you know, I won't mark it down too harshly for that. And second is that this tread pattern is gonna be overkill for a lot of people and for a lot of riding styles. You really need to be going somewhere where you're expecting to be short on grip for this to be worth it. If you are running around on generally nice and sort of compacted gravel, you just don't need all this grip. Again, this is the grippiest of the five tread patterns in the American Classic range, so there's plenty of other options if you do want something that's a little bit quicker. 
Among the many standout metrics for American Classic gravel tire range is their weight. There's no denying, they are on the chunky side and tip the scale above basically all of their direct competitors. The Crombanes are both heavier and narrower than the Vittoria Mescals that they replaced on my Bossy. They're also quite a lot heavier than something like the Pirelli Cinturato gravel mixed terrain in 650 by 50 mils. You will notice a bit of the extra weight when you're you know, accelerating. If you're doing really long sustained climbs, you might feel like they are holding you back a little bit, but most of the time you're barely gonna notice it. Once they're at speed, they stay at speed and it's not really a problem. There's a couple of places you can look for alternatives to a tire like the Crumbane. First is in the speedy XC tire segment, so something like the Vittoria Mescal. I really like these tires and they're a great option if you can squeeze them into your gravel bike. I'd say the American Classics are going to last longer and I prefer the slightly more rounded grip distribution to the more Mohawk style of tread on the Vittorias. There's not a lot of difference in grip between the two of them and I will say the Vittorias are surprisingly fast. Either way, they're both really good options for high grip gravel riding. The biggest competition probably comes from my favorite all-round gravel tire, the Pirelli Cinturato Gravel M. And it's a tough call between the two. I prefer the tread pattern on the Pirellis and I think they are a generally better all-round tire, but the American Classic is just so much cheaper, about $40 cheaper in Australia at sort of standard going rates. They're both really good tires that are gonna last a long time, so, you know, ask your wallet what it gives you permission to buy. It would be remiss of me not to mention the Terra Vale Rutland though, because these have very clearly come out of the same factory and are just almost identical. But hey, the American Classic tires are cheaper, so I, I guess it's a win for them. Wrapping it all up then, the American Classics are a good gravel tire. They are very grippy, long lasting, and they have a really nice ride quality to them. I don't think they are the best tires on the market, but when you adjust for what you get to the price you pay, then they are certainly one of the best deals going around. And I have a feeling that that is gonna be what I'm gonna say about most of them that I review. Speaking of which, I now need to start testing some of the other two sets that I have waiting. I do have links to the tires in the description below. I also wanna acknowledge that these were sent for review, but it is a fully independent review and all of the editorial control is my own. And that is where I'm gonna leave it. I hope you found this to be a useful review. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Don't forget to ride safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.